What's up, YouTube? Zen here with another Subnautica video. Today, I'm going to be showcasing our submarine, aka the Cyclops. And this this is not it. <laughs> to the, the bottom of the ocean. Our Cyclops is up there. Uh, we got our prawn suit, you know, for some mining. You know, we got the drill arm. And this is the Cyclops. This thing is big. <laughs> it's a legit submarine. It's a legit submarine. Got some equipment up there. Cockpit. And pretty legit. Not gonna lie. So, you know, if we're doing a little mining expedition, hopping our prawn suit. Some drilling, get around with the Pathfinder grapple hook. And yeah. Way better cooldown <laughs> than Pathfinder. And then, yeah, if we want to get in. Oh, I missed it. Oh. No. There we go. There we go. Collects the prawn suit and then we are inside the submarine. And so up here is the cockpit where you control most of the sub. We'll show you so we can pilot it. Of course, you know, you gotta start the engines. And this thing definitely drives like a submarine. Got a big old, I don't even know what that thing's called, but. <laughs> uh, but yeah, different driving modes. You can uh, activate your sonar. Here's a little 3D uh, layout, what's in front of it. This is, this is good at night. Right now it's during the daytime. So everything's like pretty lit up. At night, this thing will definitely save you some some dings and scratches on your submarine. Got our health bar for full health. That shows how fast we're going, and we can go slow, slow. Standard. standard, or emergency speed. speed. That's Existing like if you're getting attacked by something, and you gotta dip out of there. And you know, you can't, I mean, this thing's so big, you can't like see all of it. So like, so if you want to drive with your cameras, you can, so we're driving around, you can you know, look around. I normally just kind of drive like this. So I'm not like scratching the bottom, but we got the top camera, uh, propeller camera. And yeah, that's pretty cool. We can also make it run silent because the big, big sea monsters, like they'll hear your vessel and they'll start attacking you. So you can kind of stealthily, you know, drive around them while you're silent running. But if they do attack you, you can uh, launch Deploying decoy. A creature decoy. And that's where it shows where the decoy is and you can skirt them. It's kind of like bait, I guess. It's like a bait. Do a little bait and switch. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the rest of it. Powering down. Um, this, you can customize the colors. Or whatnot, you can control the indoor lights, the floodlights in the front. Um, this shows like if you do have uh, a crack in your hole or you got attacked by a sea monster, this will show you where on your sub it's like damaged and whatnot. I uh, got our built a battery charger, med kit fabricator right there. This is, I like this having a bed on here because then you can change it from day to night 
or night to day. It's way easier to see during the day. So if it's like nighttime, I'm trying to find some stuff and just sleep and it becomes daytime. This is where our prawn suit actually is. And while it's in this bay, uh, it'll charge the uh, batteries and stuff. And from this console, we can actually access, if we have anything stored in there, uh, we can access the uh, the upgrades on it if we want to swap out anything. And then we got to have, you know, extra torpedoes, <laughs> you know, on the prawn suit. And then this is actually the, uh, the decoy tube launcher. So I just launched one. I have four out of five. So let's uh, make sure we're full up on that. Damn, five out of five. Back here is the engine bay. Um, and so if you're getting low on your power, uh, like so up here, it'll actually show you what uh, percent you're at. So we are at 75% of our power. So um, I built these two lockers right here. Let's see uh, which cells actually need replacing. So this one's at 100, that one's at 100, that one's at 56. Swap it out. This one, 94, 100, zero. Let's swap you out. 94, that's close enough. And then I put these in here. And when I go back to my base, I can uh, recharge these power cells. And then if you take massive, massive damage, it's not a bad idea. Actually, you probably should be driving around with like all your hatches closed and whatnot. But, uh,. You know, be expert navigators, so like wild side. Fire extinguisher, always handy in case your, your engine catches fire. Got some plants. These all of this is edible. And so however want a snack. You know, just eat a few of those. And then leave the last one. Chop it. Chop. Oh, I chopped that one. <laughs> but then you can always, we can re replant them. If you cut it, it gives you four seeds. And, uh, oh, I didn't want to take it. I don't want to take it. All right. Switch container. Might as well eat these. Let's get a couple. Thanks for all. Ah. And then it takes a little bit for these to regrow. So I got four planters so they can uh, regrow. Head downstairs, lower deck. Um, got built the fabricator so in case I need to make anything on the fly. We got brought on a lot of water, extra fish, uh, cured fish so it doesn't go bad. And then, yeah, if you ever need to take a drink. And then, all the I built all these lockers just for extra storage. So on these like big long, little voyages, collecting you know resources, materials, you know, we've just got lots of storage to uh, hold everything. And then back here is not really anything. That's the the prawn suit bay. And then I actually could have built lockers all the way out here, but like this is on this is more than enough lockers. Um, I mean, honestly, I could spend like three days collecting stuff, and it won't even like, <laughs> fill up all the. And then yeah, get back up to the main deck. And so, for example, if you oh, so it's nighttime. So you see, you can't see shit. You cannot see shit. It is nighttime. Like, hey, I want to drive around. Engine powering up.
It's so hard to see. Like what? Just driving in blackness, so that sonar comes in handy. So you can at least see what's in front of you. And even like, uh, you can't even tell, like it's so dark, you can't even tell what the light's on. I'm flicking the lights on, on and off. So it's nice. And then, yeah, let's say you do, did get attacked by a sea monster. Uh, heading flank. Excessive noise. But this is like emergency speed, emergency use only. Like we were definitely going pretty fast. Overheat. And the engine will overheat. That's like your last warning before it just starts to go bad. Warning, engine may hit critical. Oh, we got a fire. We got a fire. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> it's just on fire. We could take the fire extinguisher, try to put it out. Oh God. Or we could go up here. Activate the uh, fire measures. And your cell will go in a complete lockdown mode. And like, I can't even get out if I wanted. And it's gonna literally put out the fires for me. Bam. The uh, fire subs extinguished. Air scrubbers initiated. Put the fire extinguisher back, and then, yeah, we're all good. Fire is out. That's why, like, generally, you do just kind of want to go at regular, <laughs> regular speed. And if I just want to get out normally, without the prawn suit or anything, there's that door right there. So yeah, that is the Cyclops. Um, hope you all dig the video. Hit that like, subscribe, and I'll catch you.